Hi everyone, welcome to Boost Product Filter and Search Tutorial video series. In this video, you will learn how to create and manage filters. Before we start, let's go with some usually used terms in filter management of our product filter and search app. First of all, the filter tree. A filter tree is a tree that contains all filter options. A functional filter tree should be able to present all the values for users to select, and then sort out the results that match their preferences. Note that under a filter tree, we call the values here are filter options. Each filter option, like vendor, product type, or price, contains what we call filter option values. A filter tree can be implemented on collection pages, search result pages, and sometimes home pages. In our app, we have two kinds of filter trees, the standard filter tree and the custom filter tree. On one hand, the standard filter tree group consists of default filter and search filter tree. The default filter tree is automatically used for all collection pages while search filter tree shows on the search results page. On the other hand, the custom filter tree is super helpful when you want a specific set of filter options for a specific collection. A side note that the custom filter tree will not interfere with the default filter. We'll walk through each type of filter tree to see how they work. Default filter tree is applied to all collection pages. Although you cannot delete or disable this filter tree, you can edit and add more filter options that custom to your needs. As default, we already set up a few basic filter options, they are, vendor, product type, and price. From that, you can add other new filter options, such as, title, size, color, sale percentage, review ratings, stock status, you name it. For example, we choose to add a new color filter option for all collection pages. Decide to go for the swatch display. Allow customers to choose multiple values and select all color values to display. As you can see on your right hand, we have a preview of how your filter option will actually look like, so that you can choose the layout precisely as you wish. After saving the newly created filter option, you are able to edit, disable, or rearrange the order of any option, aligning your store's look. To illustrate, here we rename the vendor option as brand. Disable the product type. Reorder the options and save all changes. Now, you can take a peek at the storefront to see how it has changed exactly like what we adjusted. Next, let's move on to the second type of standard filter trees, which is search filter tree. The search filter tree display on search result pages only. Unlike the default filter tree, you can turn off the search filter tree. And if you do that, search result pages will display the default filter tree instead. Similar to the default tree, you can customize your filter search list, following your business intentions. Well, let's say you want to let your searchers know about the stock status of your products, so they manage to find what they want on your site. Simply create a new filter option, choosing the stock status type, and allow them to display on your filter. There you have a new filter option named stock status, displayed on any of your search result page. Now, let's continue with the last kind of filter tree in our app, custom filter trees. Custom filter tree is especially helpful if you want to create a specific set of filter options for a specific collection on your store. Please keep in mind that custom filter tree totally separates from default filter tree. To give you an idea of how this filter works, Say our example store is having a lot of good deals for tops and shirts, and we want our browsers to notice this. We'll create a custom filter with the type of percent sale, just for the tops collection. First, we would duplicate a version of the default filter tree, just to keep other basic filter options also work on this tops collection. Next, rename the filter to manage more easily, and assign to tops collection. Then, we'd add a new type of filter, percent sale, and type all sale percentage ranges, aligning promotion campaigns. After saving, let's check out how the filters now look on our top collection. After learning about three main kinds of our filter trees, we'll show you more details and handy tips in creating and adjusting filter options. As you saw in the three previous filter trees, whenever you click add filter option button, a dialog like this will show up. 
You can adjust basic settings in the General tab, while tweak some clever setups to your filter in the Advanced tab. General is where you choose your filter options from a variety of types that we offer. Depending on which filter type you choose, the settings below may differ. But basically, you can do some of these things. Rename the filter to suit your business. Adjust the display layout under formats, such as, list, box, or swatches. Allow your browsers to select one or multiple values with option select. And even decide which data is shown on that filter with the help of option values. Aside from that, a number of filter types like, price, percent sale, review ratings, or stock status, etc. Their settings may be a bit different from the rest, but all to let you adjust the layout of filters on your store. A heads up, remember to save if you want to keep these settings. Aside from creating filter options from the product attributes, we also allow to generate filter options from meta fields and the custom range sliders. But we'll have other tutorials showing more about them. Having advanced settings in hand, you have the power of tweaking and optimizing your filter options layout. You can, display tooltip, which is used to explain the usage of a filter option. Display all values in uppercase form. Sort out the values in whichever order you want. And optimize how the filter option presents on each device. In particular, if your brand filter option is too long, you can enable view more mode and collapse it on mobile, so that your visitors can easily browse through all your filter options. This is the end of the tutorial. Reach us at support at boostcommerce.net if you need any further assistance.